outside. Well, welcome back to the darts again. It is outside the women's series. And that race between Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick for a place at the Grand Slam continues. Sherrick safely through her outside. last 16 match. We brought you that 10 or 15 minutes ago when she whitewashed the third place in the this order of well merit, Dita Hedman 4-0. Now Lisa Ashton, who has won three of the five events so far, is up against Roz Bulmer for a place in the quarterfinals. If Bulmer was to pull off a surprise win, that would hand that Grand Slam spot to Sherrick. But if Ashton 45. reaches the quarterfinals, then she will move back ahead provisionally to the top spot in that order of merit. Colin Lloyd. What we've seen so far from Lisa 26. and what we've seen, particularly in this event from Ros Bulmer, who struggled to get over the line in her last 16 match, in her last 32 match rather, suggested it should be 16. a comfortable victory for Ashton. Should be. Should be. But. Six. It's always a huge but. Some people have a, an iffy game get that one out of the way and all of a sudden they go back to throwing some decent 60. stuff again think about this game you're going to know Ros Bulmer flows quite nicely and we know that Lisa Ashton does 81 and that's sometimes where you can get dragged in and Lisa will be like a juggernaut and just run you over because you're going at her flow and she loves it 11 scored yeah, well that's why they play the games, isn't it? Don't just decide who should win, but you have to go and do it. Lisa Ashton has been doing it today. She could make it a hat-trick of wins. She might have to, to get that Grand Slam place. She's left 94, a finish we've seen her take out a couple of times 81. already on the stream today. None of them the conventional way, may I add. Game show. But this time she does complete the set with the accuracy that has become synonymous with Lisa Ashton. 54 for tops, and Ashton off to a flying start. 60. I have to say this, uh, Lisa to me now, watching in now, she looks really fresh. 41. To me she does anyway, she doesn't look tired or anything, whereas a couple of the other ladies might be thinking to themselves, you know what, let's just get it done now and you know, 85. And that's sometimes the different mindsets as to great champions and also rents. I've got to say it like that. 41. I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, but that's just the way it is. Well, Lisa won the first two matches today, both 4 0, seeing off Lynn Marsden and 60. Kate Drake. She had had a bit of a wait before taking on Ros Bulmer. The draw's a little bit lopsided. It's moving faster in the top half. In fact, Joe Clements and 45. Fallon Cherrick are already both through to the quarterfinals and will play each other in the last eight. And the top half of the draw in terms of the last eight is 40. already complete because Kirsty Hutchinson will take on Makuru Suzuki, but that one will be on the stream after this one. When was the last time Murph, we've seen Lisa Ashton throw Man. nine darts and still be on 374. But she's pushed that aside now and rattled in a ton. To get back on par with Ros Bulmer. 21. Eighty-five. Bulmer needs to score sixty-five minimum to leave a finish here. Now needs to find a treble. 22. It was a battle in her last 32 match, Bulmer. She was 3-1 up against Michelle Andrews, yep. but ended up becoming a bit of a slog and just get the sense that perhaps her race is run for this weekend. We've seen some good stuff from her, particularly in the very first event 55. when Ros Bulmer went Same all the shot. way to it was the semi-finals, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. She lost to Rihanna O'Sullivan. Lisa Ashton, of course, then beat O'Sullivan 
in the final, but Ashton is beating Bulmer here, 2-0 up already. 135. Yeah, don't blink. This game could be over Six. in a flash. Lisa Ashton, she may have won the first two today, but she still looks like she means business. 140. Piles in a 135 and a 140, a stark contrast, contrast to the previous leg. Determined to put that right. 95. I thought she might have switched to a 17 there or an 18 open bed. 41. A good way in front. Was ball, we're still back in the 300s. 94. Lisa Ashton leaves herself 74 after 12 darts. One hundred and twenty-five. Good visit in response from Bulmer, but she can't go out if she does come back, and there's no guarantee that she will. Game shot. Because Lisa Ashton so often takes out those kind of combinations, and she's produced another one, a seventy-four in leg three to follow the ninety-four in leg one. And it may well be over, as you 45. suggested, as quick as a flash. And Lisa Ashton might make it. Three four nil wins on the spin. One hundred. Yeah, we're averaging just shy of ninety here, Lisa Ashton. One hundred and thirty. In the red zone again. One eighty from Lisa Ashton. Great dart. She's been absolutely brilliant 60. to watch today, Lisa Ashton. She plays at such a pace, such a, an eye-pleasing throw, and at such a standard. But it's just set. a joy to sit back and enjoy Lisa Ashton's ability. 11 scored. And she finished with a fanfare. To be fair, with 42. the performances she's put in today, she, she might have won one or two legs off me. <laughs> I think you got that the other way around there, Lloydy. I think the white 60. handkerchief would have come out of my pocket and been waved around, Murph, I'll tell you. The one two two. Now one oh two. Now eighty two. So it might be the bull. I think she got a maths wrong on that occasion. She thinks she had 72 left. Yeah, maybe. 66. Yeah. She needs to check up on the board here. Might go the bullseye route or triple 10. Could stay there. Yep, double 18. Game shot on the match. Lisa well, that Ashton. is a very, very convincing display from Lisa Ashton. She's looking for three titles on the trot. Well, she's won three matches on the trot.